Imagine being able to use AI and automated workflow that automatically generates featured images every single time we publish a brand new blog post inside of WordPress. Not only does it generate and create the image based on the content of the blog post, but it also adds an alt description to that image, uploads it into the media library and connects it directly to your blog post, making this a full 100% automated process. We're going to be doing that inside of this video. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. And I also got a JSON file to share with you if you want to go ahead and just copy exactly what I'm doing and just get a quick jump start. Real quick before we get into the video, I got to give a public service announcement or really a warning to be very careful when connecting AI to your WordPress websites and allowing AI to make changes. It is very important to use staging websites, use backups, and to understand best practices and the risks involved. This video is meant to explore ideas, to see what we could do with AI connected to our WordPress websites and using automation tools like Bitflow. So if you do have any questions, definitely leave them inside of the comments. Okay, back to the video. Here's a workflow completed. We're gonna walk through it because I feel this is gonna make it a lot easier to understand. First off, what we are going to do, the whole idea is when we click this publish button, we activate a trigger and that trigger starts to create our featured image, it adds the alt text, and then it inserts it into the blog post, meaning all we gotta do is hit the publish button and we are good to go with our featured images. The way this works is with this workflow here, we got a trigger and this trigger is based on a post. You could also put in a page as well. We have other options, but that's all it does. It just triggers it and we have a condition set and in this condition, what it does is when it gives it a new status, meaning it is published, then it is activated. And this is when it starts to run. When this is activated, our trigger, it starts off with the first action. And that is to generate the image. The only thing you're going to need to do is create your connection. This is the part that will probably take a little bit of time. In order to create a connection, you're just going to go to your API settings. Now, we could do this in ChatGPT, Claude. We could do this inside of other LLMs, you know, Gemini. And they're pretty much going to be very similar. But when we go to our APIs, it is going to be a little bit different now. We can see I got my APIs all here. I don't think there's any sensitive information I need to blur out. So we should be okay. You just got to follow those steps. Once you do get a set up, then you have your connection set and you could have that connection work over and over, it becomes a breeze. You only need to do it once. Here is the thing you need to do, choosing the model. I always go usually with the newest, but I also want to think about what is going to take the less resources because in order to create this connection, you do got to throw like at least $5 into the API with OpenAI. I believe with Gemini though, you don't need to pay to get started, but eventually you'll have to. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong. But this is the part though, where you're going to want to spend time and probably the only place you're going to spend time other than your connections. And that is the prompt. Now this prompt, I have it targeting the post title. We could also have it target something like the excerpt. Now the content might be too long because the post content, well, it'll insert all of that content into the prompt in some blogs, you know, they could be long. So stick to a post title or go ahead and insert the post excerpt as well to give it a little bit more context. This part here, you are going to want to adjust based on the project. And if we go over here to my media library, I've already been creating some posts while working on this. It does give a bit of a generic AI visual, but this all could be sorted out just with dialing in your prompt, making it more clean and just, you know, minimal. That's the way I would go. Now we already got the size set up. We want to go with standard quality. That way we're not getting big size files. And then your style, this is totally up to you. So this is where the work is going to come in. And this is probably the only thing you're going to need to change when you go from project to project. Now up over here, the next step is creating that alt text. We are using this node right here to create a chat completion. Again, we could use OpenAI for this. You could use Gemini. 
You could use other LLMs. I am gonna use just a very slim down model. I don't wanna use like GPT-5, there's no need for it. I wanna use something small. Again, keep those resources low. And I'm gonna keep my token a little bit low too because I don't want too much text going into the alt description. But from right here, this is already set up. This prompt is good to go. It is already working. I've been running lots of tests with it. So I feel like you are good to go with this. And I probably should have said this in the beginning, but I have the JSON file that I'm going to show you how to use to upload it. That way you could just copy this. You don't even have to build it all out yourself. You can, you can follow along just like how we're looking and build it out yourself, which is actually kind of a good thing. This way you could get to understand how to build and use workflows, which I believe is a very, very important skill for us website creators, especially now more than ever. Now, the next action is going to be adding the image to the media library, and we are going to insert that alt text. And then after that, we need to add that same image to our blog post. We're going to connect it to the post ID and the post featured image URL and then it is going to insert it. Now, with all of that set up, making sure we have our connections set up in our AI or whatever tools you're using. Again, it could be OpenAI, Gemini, Claude. Once that is all done, we're going to run the practice test flow. Let me click on this, listen to new response. And now I'm going to go over to my blog post and just publish. And that will activate the trigger. Now we'll go back and take a look. We can see it is activated and now it is in the processing session. Now it might take a little bit of time. I've seen some of these take up to about a minute, usually 30 seconds, so we'll come right back. And there we go, we have a success right here. We could take a look at the details, it's gonna show us a whole workflow. Everything went through now. Let's go over to our blog post and let's refresh it and look at that. The image was created, it was added. Yeah, it's a bit AI generic looking, but we could fine tune that in the prompt, but it worked. And if we were to go over to our media library, let me refresh this. And now we can see the new image here. We go to it and we can see the alt text is inserted. So we are fully good to go. Here is where we could streamline this process, especially if we're going to reuse it over and over. I am going to go up here to these three dots and export it. And let's go over to our workflows. I'm going to create a new workflow. I am going to call this a uh, duplicate testing. So I know it's just a testing one. I'm going to create it and go back to these three dots and import that JSON file. It's right here. Let's go ahead and import this. And now we have this same workflow. So I'll go ahead and share that JSON file with you so that we could get quickly started. And all you'll need to do is go through and set up your connections. Just make sure you get those. And then also make sure you fix that prompt inside your generate image. And this is just to get the ideas flowing. This is one of those processes that I found tedious and don't personally like to do. So being able to streamline it using AI, it makes things so much easier. And then if we look over here in our tools, well, we got everything when it comes to WordPress. We got things that aren't just WordPress. You know, I've been doing things with Notion, uh, connecting my site with Notion and running some automations with that. And then we also have our tools as well. You know, our web hooks, our conditions, our uh, delays. These things are very powerful the more we start to use them. So this is a good start, I feel, for many web creators. A big thanks to BitFlows for partnering inside of this video and for hooking us up with some special coupon codes just for the Lightbox community. You can find those inside of the description of the video along with links to all of it. But real quick, I just got to highlight something because one of the things that stands out when it comes to BitFlows and the other Bit plugins that they have is just the competitive pricing. With this, not only do you get the LTD, the lifetime deal for a very good price in plus the coupon code that I'm sharing inside of the description, but there are no limitations. And this is something that you don't see inside of other automation tools. Usually even if they are lifetime deals, 
they still have a limitation on the amount of workflows that you're able to perform. So that is one thing that really stands out. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear your thoughts, your feedback. And you know, this is all really just given one example of things that we could be doing to use AI workflow automations to fully automate some just those tedious things, things that I do not find fun building WordPress websites, but we got to do it over and over. We could start to really think outside of the box and use these kind of tools powered with AI. And we could actually just cut the whole process out, fully automating it, spending time to build it once. And then that is it. So more and more ideas like this just keep coming up inside of my head and I can't wait to keep sharing them with you and I will continue but I would also like to hear your ideas and your thoughts where do you see us being able to automate things like what we did with the featured images to streamline tedious processes inside of the web design and web building process I would love to hear your feedback on it well that's it for this video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one